right, I'm Todd Haas, um, part owner in the Carroll Haas Racing Liquid Voodoo. It's a bullet hydro. Um, it's probably one of the old, oldest bullets out here. This used to be Hoop Gibson's boat, and uh, Tommy Thompson ended up buying it, and we bought it from Tommy. But uh, it's a top fuel hydro, 10,000 horsepower, bad boy, I guess. I don't know what else to say about it. You just witnessed the fastest pass on water in a drag boat in history. Now, keep in mind, the record is at 875 feet. They just ran this to 1,000. That boat ran 272.95 miles an hour. I have never seen a boat run that fast. boat itself is a bullet boat. It's a bullet rigger boat. It's a fiberglass uh, carbon fiber boat. Uh, the capsule is a Kinsley Racing. Uh, Kevin Kinsley, which is our driver, is who built the capsule. It's a, uh, man, it's state of the art. The, the engine itself is Allen Johnson. It's a 500 inch. Makes neighborhood of a little bit north of 10,000 horsepower. Heads are Allen Johnson. The blowers, it's a Darren Mara blower, performance racing engineer, or it's a Darren Mara performance engineer blower. 
It's a 1471 top fuel blower and uh, it's a carbon fiber hat. It's 11 millimeter blower pulleys on it. It, range, it. it makes a little over 60 pounds boost. The fuel pump is a Rage 100 plus uh, gallon fuel pump. It burns about eight gallons of nitro in, eight, in 875 foot. We run two uh, dual MSD uh, 44 mags on it. Uh, it has the engine management system is electronics. It's a command module fuel management and timing controller. We run a data logger, a Pro 3. The V drive is a w, it's a W drive dual prop trick. A titanium clutch with three discs. The braking system we use three RJS Kevlar chutes. Uh, and like I said, this this thing's a little bit south or a little bit north of 10,000 horsepower. The blower makes a little over 60 pounds of boost per pass, and we run about six and a half to one compression. In a in a pass, it pulls about four and a half G's in 1.5 seconds. We currently hold the 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 mile an hour record in STBA, the, the, the 875 and the 1,000 foot. The 1,000 foot ET is 338 and 269. The 875 is, is 311 at 265. In 2018, uh, Tommy Thompson had actually purchased the, the STBA from, uh, it had bought the club and it kind of bailed them out. And um, Tommy ran it for a year. I was actually a board member on there with, for a year with Tommy Thompson. And Tommy approached me and told me that uh, he wanted me to take over the STBA. I told him that, you know, that I needed something I needed to get with my partner's own and, um, and see if that was something that I could do was something that I sure wanted to do, but I didn't know. Talked to my partners, my wife, and got cleared from them and actually took the STBA over. That the following year, Lucas had pulled out. And so that was when I had the opportunity to buy a lot of Lucas's equipment. Went together with some guys out west and they purchased half of it and I purchased the other half. You know, it was as we rocked on there for a little bit and, and our equipment got better, uh, we started kind of venturing out and doing a little bit more. Every year that I've had it since then, we've purchased new equipment and gotten a lot better. I mean, you know, I think there's a little over 200 members of the STBA. We, uh, before COVID, we used to run about 100 plus boats. And since COVID, we run about 80 boats per race, 80 to 90 boats a race. Uh, our pro show is really good. We debuted, uh, I mean, we brought fuel boat back for the first time and uh, Nitro Nuts and the Mike Robbins team had worked with us on it and we paid them to do exhibition for the first couple years. I knew that we needed more fuel boats and so uh, that's when me and Todd Haas purchased the Voodoo boat from Tommy and uh, we put it together and we debuted it this year. But STBA is uh, doing well and fine and uh, we look forward to a good future with it, I think. So moving on with the, with the Voodoo deal, so when uh, me and Todd was trying to figure, Todd was actually trying to figure out how to do that deal. He had been helping us with Mallory's boat. Uh, I purchased uh, Mallory's Pro Mod and, Tom, and uh, Todd's helped us a lot with that. And um, man, we talked about it. And at the time when we first started talking about it, I, I really thought that I would just help kind of help them him find somebody to buy it and I would just help them fund it whether it be through David Carroll or through the STBA man we kept talking about this deal and nobody was really moving on it and so we started negotiating this deal with Tommy and and finally come to agreement on purchasing he had actually had two of them he had uh, one bear hull that never been rigged it's a bullet outrigger boat as well that he had acquired from David Kirkland. And then the voodoo boat had been put up just like it was when they come home in 18 from the world finals. They, they brought it home and put it up. And so it just mothballed it like that. We come to agreement with Tommy and uh, purchased both boats, trailer, I mean, basically shop and all. And uh, me and Todd did that. And we, uh, we literally worked our butts off to get it to the water this year. Uh, had a lot of good people help us out a little bit and it's a uh, man I mean we debuted it and in, in Marble Falls and still 
I mean, when you put one together, a beast like that, it's, it's you, you know, I mean, your expectations are that you're fixing to blow one out the back, and reality is there's a lot to it. And so, you know, we went out there, and the boat kind of went a little bit left, and we knew props were, were a deal that we was going to deal with just because props are hard to come by today with all the steel and crazy pricing and stuff that's out there. So, anyway, we worked out a deal to where we purchased several props, and, um, Man, we, we just kept working on this thing and getting it to where it is today and, and actually hold both ET and Molnar record. And the last pass we ran in, uh, in San Angelo uh, a couple weeks ago, we actually bumped the, uh, the mile an hour up another mile an hour. So Todd's one of these guys, man, he's an overachiever and he's, uh, he's got the boat completely stripped down right now and just pretty much back to the basics and, and trying to, it's, when it comes out, He's thrown a lot of power at it, and then when it comes out, it's diving just a little bit, and it's almost submarining. And uh, man, there's a lot of boats over the years that have submarined, and that's not good. I mean, you ruin everything you got, and you start over anyway. So Todd sent me some video, and he's like, man, I'm fixing to tear this thing apart before we go to Phoenix. And I mean, it's tore completely apart right now. There ain't nothing in it. He's been sanding, he's been moving V drive, the W drives, the props. I mean, we're going back to, put this boat back to where all of his stuff was with the nitrochondriac boat when he was uh, running it and you know and we'll have it ready to go but you know before we get to Phoenix and so we look for good things there for sure.